With our tipping pull-ups, we want to approach them as a skill and technique and timing oriented movement, not just a strength movement. It takes strength to execute the timing and the finesse um, and the skill involved with it, but we want to be utilizing technique over raw strength. So first thing when you jump on the bar, you want knuckles up and over the bar, thumb around. So that's going to give you a lot of control. Sometimes people get, their swing gets off on a, on a kipping or a butterfly pull up. Having that good grip is going to help you be able to moderate your angles and make adjustments as you move. The kipping pull up is really where our snap to hollow comes to play. So that's our tap swing. We want to have acceleration through the bottom to get that tap, to get the elevation to be able to do the rest of the movement. All right. The upper body, obviously there's a pull involved, there's also the direction, the directional control, and then sort of the deceleration as you're coming down. So you don't want to completely stop your momentum, that's the point is to have some momentum and, and some swing to it, but um, you need to decelerate enough that you're not jerking uh, to like an overextension at the bottom, okay? So we're talking about that tap swing, you get your grip. The movement is really driven, we want to drive it through our core. So using that tap swing to get our body moving. So the upper body is giving a lot of direction and control as you're um, coming down from the top of the pull-up. So if you're doing a kipping pull-up, you would pull, pull the chin over the bar, then slightly push away, push your chest away from the bar, and then reestablish that tight arch. So feet are in front, push away, tight arch, and then again, tap swing through the bottom. That's giving you speed and power. Keep a strong emphasis on tension through the legs. So feel your quads engage, feel your feet stretch long. Point those feet, that's gonna help you um, create tension through your body. A tight body is gonna move more effectively through space. If you're loose, then you're not able to transfer any power, it just sort of stops. So keep nice and tight, whip through the bottom, utilize the grip and the arms to help direction, uh, directional control.